How do you feel? We should go camping, Josie. Let's go camping. Let's go camping. I need to be on that mountain with just the birds in the air and no contact to where no one's like, hey, I have a problem. What do you want to do about this? I'm like, I don't know. There's no time to fix it. This is the reality of wedding week. All the problems just start showing up and it's yes. it's not good. And they tell you there's always one thing, but you're like, surely there wouldn't be a mine. <laughs> and it's like 10 things. It's bad. <laughs> and Josie's, which is why I look like that. But then I got a call from Chloe, one of my bridesmaids, and it's like eight days to the wedding. Her dress finally came in, it's the last one. Everyone else has, Josie had it ordered, the second one got express ship, so we finally got hers two days ago. Renee's working on three right now, and we're just waiting on, we were just waiting on Chloe's. Until it came in pink. It's like, it's like this color. So my entire wedding is all, white and black and then we got one dress that's like fuchsia pink so now we don't know what to do because it's eight days we have it from a company that's like in China so shipping alone is like a couple of days and getting in contact with them is probably also gonna take a couple days so we're trying to figure out what to do we have one extra yellow dress we could put her in and be uh, not as bad as pink <laughs> But I do not know what we're gonna do. So I think I'm gonna call Renee and see what she thinks because I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I don't wanna not put Chloe in my wedding. But also, she bad. can't be in there and think. It's a pretty bad situation. It's really bad. The worst part is there's not much to actually. There's, there's no, no options. options. There's not very many I options. I do not have options. Renee I'm also has to go out of town. She's got so much going on, I hate to even ask. I don't know what I'm gonna do. She's helped us so much. And her stuff is always so pretty. So I just wanna call her and be like, please help me, I don't know what to do. It's so bad. <laughs> Poor Lydia is trying so hard not to cry. She's over there just like, I wanna go to a mountaintop and not do anything. <laughs> you know I'm considering it. I might, I might be going. It's all gonna work out yes. though. Whatever, but whatever happens, it's gonna be great. We just need a white dress, right? Who cares if it doesn't match? True. Yes. It'll be part of the story. <laughs> you won't forget this story. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh my nose. Is that a dead? I'm taking to my mom right now. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You like my hair? Uh, uh not right now. <laughs> mom. Thanks for the honesty. Hey, Lydia. She is busy. I am just calling to see if you made any progress on our fun little dress situation. I emailed them and I messaged them on Instagram, but I don't know the time difference than China. But I said it's an emergency. Yeah. And I said that we, our, dress, our wedding is on October 1st and we got sent the wrong color and that we will pay whatever we have to to express it, but we need contact immediately. Mm -hmm. And I did that on Instagram. And on email, you cannot call the number, it says, unable to be called. I tried typing in the China area code in front of it. I tried everything, and it will not let you call the phone number. If they, if they shipped it today, then it could be here in four days because I've gotten quite a bit of stuff shipped from China, and you can do express shipping, and it'd be here in four days. But I said that we would pay whatever it took to get it here, and so okay. hopefully don't mess it back. Okay, I will call Renee and see what she thinks. Thank you so much. Bye, love, you. love you too. Bye. Let's We're call Renee. Chloe. Well, let's call Renee and find out what she thinks. This is a different situation. Okay, okay, okay. So Chloe's dress came in today, just now, and it came in in, in fuchsia. <gasps> In like bright pink. Okay. And and we're sitting here and I don't know I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay. What okay. So I'm mainly just calling you for advice because I don't know what to do. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, we're gonna we're gonna breathe. It's all okay, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's all okay. Uh, I have a saying in that everything's fixable as long as there's time. 
okay? <laughs> and we got time, okay? Uh, it's not a lot. A couple questions, okay? Who okay. is Chloe? Is she your sister? Who is Chloe she? Chloe is um, one of my friends, and she is the seventh bridesmaid. She helped with the proposal and all of that. We love Chloe. Oh, yes. She did great okay. with that. We got Jesse's mm -hmm. other dress. How do you think that would look that together? There. How do we feel about those dresses beside each other? What do you think? Well, it's, it's better than the pink. It's it better. is better. It is. It's a whole lot better than pink. Is, is she? Is, is okay. Who's the maid of honor? Damaris. Damaris is the maid of honor, and then Hannah is my matron of honor. She's my sister-in-law. Let me try to. I'm gonna say the word bleach, but not bleach. Let me try to... Oh, gosh. Okay, all right. So do you think, Josie... Now, these dresses have a good inch, inch and a half seam for me to let it out. Do mm -hmm. you think if I let your dress out that I have here, oh. I could change the color? Do you, oh, she do you could totally that? fit in it. Okay. So if I have an inch, inch and a half to let out there, yes. I probably would be good. Oh, okay. yes. You would totally be fine. I'm going to go get it, and I'm going to start working on it, okay? And mm -hmm. I might can do a wash on it. It's not bleaching it, but kind of is. We have nothing to lose. Do mm -hmm. I have your permission to try that? Yeah, you can do whatever you want to the dresses. Go into the old trash can anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not. It, it may be... Uh, might save us. God's plan to do everything that we have been doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but let, let, let me try. I will let you know in 24 hours how that works. Hey, I am going to work on this dress. Okay. I love you guys. I'm so sorry that happened Thank to you, Lydia. Uh, You're just too sweet. What? If worst case comes to worst case, worst case comes to worst case, and I mean worst case comes to worst case, <laughs> I'll say it one more time. I can make one. Oh, gosh. That's so I much can make work. One. That's so I, much I work. I can make one. You know what I mean? Yeah. It may not be out of the same material, but I can take Josie's apart and make myself a pattern mm. and make one if, if that if that happens, okay? I so hope let's it just doesn't. all breathe. We've got options. We can move past this. Okay? Best case scenario is getting the company to ship us another one because shipping, if you do express shipping, we could have it here in four days. Yeah. But it all depends on how we can get in touch with them. So that's best case scenario. But Lydia, I just wanted to let you know so that you yeah. kind of know what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm glad you did. But Four days from now, or five days from now, and they can't ship anything out till Sunday, our time, Sunday evening, our time, which mm -hmm. is their Monday. So they can't ship anything out. So you won't get it if you do get it till Thursday. And that's if you're lucky, and maybe Friday, depending on. <laughs> <how it goes. laughs> so, so I'd rather plan like we don't have a, that option. Yeah. But let's see what. I'd rather move towards that with the dyeing of this dress and certain things. So let me see what I can do, and we'll take care of it, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you I'll, so I'll much. Keep you, I'll keep you posted if I see any progress in the color of this dress on the first time, okay? Okay. That sounds perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm sorry I'm getting you, more work. No. That's what I'm here for, and I'm so glad. I, I, I hope I can find a solution, but we love you. Just take a deep breath. It's all going to be okay, all right? Love, love you, Mr. Day. Thank you. Bye, girl. Bye. All right, y'all. We are headed to the courthouse to get our marriage license. It is eight days away from today. But when you see this, it'll probably be really close to the wedding. It's hard to believe it's so soon, ain't it? It's, so, it's feeling like fall, too. It is. We're going to have our little fall wedding. Right now, it's looking like it so is bright. not supposed to be raining on our wedding. That's Actually, good. Actually, I think it changed to rain. No, 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 don't tell me that. Okay, <laughs> we are praying the rain away, so there will be no yes. rain, but sometimes it does say rain, sometimes it doesn't. It changes sure. every day. It's like Tennessee weather, you can't really predict it. But let's go get our marriage license. Excited. All right, y'all, I am here at the wedding venue. I am bringing over some of the wedding stuff right now. This is what we got going on. So, I'm snacking it up in here. Alrighty, we got the stuff unloaded and into the barn. So now we just go back. We got a lot more stuff coming over. Like I said, five days away, getting super close. I am a little nervous, but you know what? I'm more excited. I'm going to be marrying the love of my life. I 
think Lydia is absolutely amazing. Hit the honeymoon, going to Hawaii, super excited. Cannot wait to see all the people that are coming to town for this wedding. So looking forward to seeing everyone, hanging out, and having a great weekend. Alrighty, so we are three days away from the wedding. And let me tell you, there's a lot of updates. So the big storm that's coming in and hitting Florida, that is supposed to be hitting tonight, that is bringing a lot of rain over to Tennessee. The wedding was going to be outdoor venue. We are trying to talk with the wedding coordinator. We're trying to look around to see if we can find another venue that we are still up to trying to figure out. Maybe Lydia's church, we don't know. But like I said, we're three days away. We need to find another venue. It is going to be like highs of 60s on Saturday and it's supposed to be raining all day. So it's not looking good. So we're trying to figure out, to Lydia, her biggest thing is photos. So we're trying to figure out how we could take photos before, outdoor. So we're trying to figure out a lot of deals. But like I said, the wedding is going to happen no matter what. And then we're going off to our honeymoon. But there's a lot of stress right now, trying to figure everything out. We don't know what to do. Some of my ushers are in, all the way into Florida right now for the storm, for the disaster relief. So a lot of issues are rolling right up before the wedding. One of the brides, uh, bridesmaids accidentally ordered the wrong color dress. So all the other dresses are white and hers are pink. So Renee is absolutely amazing. She is making Lydia's wedding dress, which I cannot wait to see. Renee is just stunning and she's so good at what she does, amazing. All her stuff she does is just completely stunning. So she looks like she's going to be trying to make an, a dress to match the fabric and all that stuff. So we'll see how that goes. We know that's going to go smooth, but I'm just trying to jump on here and give you a quick update. Yes, I'm still at the big house. A lot of people are in town. We got John and Alyssa in town, but I'll try to keep y'all updated. Alrighty, so we are looking at venues right now trying to find something that's indoor. So this is where we're at right now, our first place. How are you feeling, babe? You think this is it? Are you, are you ready to get married? Don't you feel like we went back in time, like five months back when we were doing this, looking at venues? Back in time. Like three days. It is pretty. It is pretty. You looking all handsome in my white dress and these chandeliers. Hey, what's your white dress look like? <laughs> Don't you wish you knew? <laughs> In this front wall. I'm literally Give us an update. Mm. I if I had one. <laughs> I'm just looking. Jackson and Emerson have been so kind to really drive my mom around and look at different yeah. venues. Shout out to Jackson and Emerson. Thank y'all so much. Lydia and Chloe and Josie are helping Lydia trying to. We're trying to picture what it is in a cool frame. Yes. Because right now it's really nice with the sun. Let's go look at the pond. It's nice. Mm. Ready? Let's go spend some time with my fiance. Little first dance. Singing in the rain. We would be, we'd be like all dancing, downpour, freezing. <laughs> Great. The dye is beautiful. It's very pretty. So we just got done looking at this latest venue. And it is really pretty. Like I said, we got Josie and Chloe in here <laughs> helping out. We do. Crew helping us trying to figure out what are we gonna do. So we're heading to the next place. This is actually where the rehearsal dinner is at. So we're gonna see if we can make that work. It's in a church gym. So we'll keep you updated. We'll take some videos. Stay tuned. All right, well, we're here at the second venue. So here we go. Let's go yeah. check it out and see what we think. So this church has been very gracious to let us come here and talk to about using this for Saturday. So this is where we're going to have the uh, rehearsal dinner. So we're trying to see if we can use it for the wedding as well. So we will keep you updated. This is option two. So we have two options right now. And then we're also still praying that the rain holds off. So pray that the rain holds off. We're also praying a lot for all the people in Florida with the hurricane hitting. That is terrible. And we're praying for all the people down in Florida. All right, y'all. Now, it will be great. Now, let's ask what all the people want to know. How is y'all's relationship coming? <laughs> great. It's coming good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are y'all dating? Dating. 
Dating. dating? No. When does the ring happen? All right, Lydia. After seeing the two locations, please tell me how are you feeling at this moment? You look amazing. I went to bed at two in the morning because so I thought it would be fun to do a girl sleepover. <laughs> and I woke up with, oh, I have to find a new venue. <laughs> and now I'm a little tired. I don't, I don't know. I want the rain to go away. That would be nice because we it's do hard have. To pick because like, what if it does clear up and we right. could have had the pretty wedding we wanted? Right. And instead, we're like in a gym. We do have the boat all done, so that looks amazing. So I think we're it. debating on maybe taking photos before when it's mm -hmm. still clear on Friday. So we get some of our wedding photos done and then we just get married either in the gym or this first op or the first option we showed you. So we have not settled on that. We're still waiting back to hear from people and we're just going to pray that the rain actually hopefully holds off. Yes. But also we are we do feel devastated for all the people in Florida that the hurricane is hitting right now. Hopefully a lot of them got out, but I know a, some of my some of my ushers are over in Florida working over there with the disaster relief. So I pray for all those people and I am excited to get married and head to Hawaii. Right, babe? <laughs> yeah, let's leave the bad weather and just go to an island. That just lay down great. on the beach and relax. That's great. So. We just got to... It's hard because we have to make a choice basically today. We do. But there's no good choice. So, so it's like good. which one of the not good choices do we want to go with? So. And honestly, I love photos, but I feel like a little bit of me is like, it's kind of sad. It's already seeing each other at the yes. airport. Yes. So. Like, I'm all down for a first look, but I don't know about the whole first day. So we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Pray for us. It'll <laughs> <laughs> be great. So now we are back to the original venue, the barn, hill barn. The pond is up there. All of this beautifulness, so pretty. So we will walk you through everything. Alrighty. What's the latest so update, y'all? Keep it here. I'm nervous. Josie says here because it's pretty, but wedding. she's looking on a sunny day. No, I looked at Lydia's face. Lydia yeah. was crying, and then she's here, and she's like, right. She loves this place. She wants it here. I she have seen tents that have clear walls where you can still see the pond, mm -hmm. but you're under roof. I feel like we should call and check on that at least so you get your you look that you wanted. For sure. And you still see the pond. I'll just trade my car. Because your whole thing was centered around the pond. No, you won't trade anything. Me and Josie are going to pitch, pitch in. It. All of your no. wedding parties got all pitch in for you to have your wedding. So we have been driving all day looking at different venues. And it's hard to find a venue in three days. So we're checking it out. And it looks like we're back to our normal venue. And it looks like we're talking about just keeping it here. Embracing it. We'll get a tent. Uh, the reception might not be as is is nice because we got to figure out how to work that out because it was going to be outdoor under the barn over there. So we'll try to keep you updated, but here we go. All right, Lydia, with all of the hurricane update and everything going on with the weather, please give me an update and how you're feeling house. right now. I think you're right. a little part of me still hopes that there's going to be no rain. Yeah. Or it'll clear up just for the hour or two and we can get married. We might just make a wedding a lot shorter. Okay. But I do love this place more than anything. So I think we should just risk it and pray for good weather. Now, how has your emotions been today? Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Do tell us. If you have no sleep, stress, and then they say, oh, all your plans are falling through. You can find a new place and you feel like you're planning like, it feels like a shotgun wedding because I have three days to find me a new place but everything is booked. When I had like six months to plan it, it's very sad. So, we're trying to keep everyone updated, but if the it is pretty crazy. Nice, it would be absolutely perfect. Like look, right how, now, look how pretty this is, y'all. Blue skies, there, green there, grass, there pond. <laughs> All the little kids are playing over there. <laughs> With Dan line. Yay! The barn is gorgeous. Lydia is absolutely. Lots of helps. Friends look, helping us. Look, y'all. Look how stunning Lydia is. With, she feels like no sleep, but she's still nails. so. Wait, hold on. She did get her nails done. They're so cute. I keep looking now, at Now, you want to tell us what the dress looks like? 
Don't you wish you knew the dress look like? I cannot wait to you see that first look. Days. Yes, cannot and then wait. Then you can see it. So. But I mean, things could be worse. We're very blessed to not have a storm here. It's just rain yes. that we're having. Yes. So. But um, at the end of the day, we're gonna get married. We are. A lot of people are backing out just because of the storm. So that's a little discouraging. But <laughs> it'll be a smaller, yeah. more intimate wedding of like our close friends, which is exciting. We just gotta squish them all into one waterproof building. <laughs> it's gonna work out. <laughs> Stop me. Ah! At least we're having fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> we got good rhythm going. This is a good So, this is venue four. Same day, still looking at places. So I went and got as a key from my sweet pre-K teacher that I used to work at the nursery with. And we are going to my church like property, which is still available for Saturday. And check it out to see if that's where we want to get married. So let's keep looking at places. Woohoo! <laughs> no energy left. All right, we're okay, y'all. We are at the fourth venue, and this is Lydia's church venue. And let me show you. We would get married in there, but look at this view. Can I just tell you? Okay, even if it's God has answered our prayers in this even place, it's like pouring rain. I don't care. It'll be beautiful. I think we can still be inside yeah. where we're not yeah. freezing. So this is what we got in here, and it would be the wedding and then the actual reception too in the same building. We would just take it down and then do it again. But this is the fourth venue. We're gonna go home and try to figure out which one we're gonna go with, but I will try to video and get you the update. So we can open all the sides like this. We can open them over there and stuff. So it's very pretty, and this is what we're looking at. We got Jackson over here. Uh, Emerson, it has been a very long, long day. Josie is very tired. Chloe <laughs> is out of it. Lydia is is tired as well. And let me tell you the, I guess the final decision is, we've looked at all four different locations. And, or me, yeah, mom looked at like 10. But after looking at all the locations, it looks like the last location it looks like we're moving our entire wedding three days before. So, we're going to be moving it to another location, to the last location you just saw through her church. And we're going to be setting everything up over there, or what they are. Josie and Chloe are very excited. We are? Yes, they're very <laughs> excited. It's, they're going to need a lot of work, but like I said, a lot of my guy friends, you know a lot what? of my close friends are in Florida helping at the hurricane for the disaster relief. So, it's going to be me working a lot, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like we are happy that it's not ugly, you know? It's going to be the prettiest that. thing you ever did see. But good things, great news that we do have is, I just want to let you know that Effortless Beauty is dropping brand new jewelry. <laughs> they, would, they would love you to check it out. I'm going to have Christian pull up the link right there. Effortless Beauty Jewelry. And if you look at the wedding and you see all the girls and you say, wow, Lydia's jewelry was nice or some of the other bridesmaids jewelry was nice. That's all because it is 100% real gold. 16, 18 carats, whatever it is. Gold tipped or gold filled. Oh, that one. Gold tipped or gold filled. But it will not, oh, gold what? Gold dip. But I'll tell you what it will not do. It will not leave your skin a different color. It does not change it. This is jewelry that makes it all the same color. You don't even know you're wearing it. it except it's green. really nice. So, check out their jewelry. They're very all they're they're really nice. Lydia is very excited to show them all off. All I the, am the excited jewelry. about all the cute little jewelry. So she's actually wearing one right now. And look at that. She still has the same color skin. It's because she bought the right jewelry. When you're shopping for jewelry, you want to make sure you find the right stuff. <laughs> so shop Effortless Beauty. <laughs> All right, y'all. We are right around the corner for the big old day. We got Christian right here. He is trying to pop out this video. 
hopefully you just enjoyed the first little clip of the wedding venue and figuring things out. We did run into a lot of hiccups, like you saw in the video. We do have more coming. I know we tried to do a whole video, but there was so much stuff. We will try to get it out in the near future, hopefully as soon as possible. I think that's all up on the Christian. Comment below when you wanted to see it and he'll put it out. But at right now, with the hurricane hit in Florida and we pray for everyone over there and all of that, but still a lot of rain was supposed to come and it's supposed to be coming this weekend. So we're trying to find a different venue. Like you saw, we went five or six different places and I think we just realized what we're gonna do two days away from the wedding. So stay tuned. You can see it. A lot is changing. The wedding venue, the reception, stuff like that. Dresses. Oh, oh yes, hair, dresses. All that stuff. A lot of people are, are putting in countless hours and I cannot thank everyone enough for all the time and effort they put into me and Lydia. I cannot wait for the big day. Like I said, that is tomorrow. So I am super excited for the big old day. We'll try to get as much content so you can be there with us and enjoy the wedding. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the this videos. This about to head over yes. to rehearsal and start setting That's stuff what I'm up. I'm doing. Getting ready for tomorrow. Can't wait. Y'all enjoy.